welcome to my channel please if you are new to this channel please please make sure you subscribe and you try to share it to others please now i want to continue with the integration by partial fractions with the second degree of denominator if you watch the one i uploaded some weeks ago it was actually talking about the first degree of denominator but today I will be explaining the integration by partial fractions, talking about the second degree of denominator. Now, when you look at this, you will discover that if you multiply this, or let me say if you expand this denominator, it's going to give you something of quadratic equations, quadratic nature. That shows that the denominator is of second degree. So that kind this kind of um partial fractions, you don't need to subject it to division of polynomial again so what you just need to do is that you can just bring it out like 4x minus 5 all over x plus 1 and x minus 2 you now apply we are going to apply um, partial fractions method you know in partial fractions when you have a linear equation like this you can write it as a all over x plus 1 plus b because this one is also a linear equation all over x minus 2. So what do you do? The 4x minus 5 equals 2. I, I want to skip a line, and the line I want to skip is that if you find the LCM for x, uh, our xm here is t x plus 1 and x minus 2. Now, and if you do that, x plus 1 will cancel x plus 1 and it's going to remain x minus 2. And x minus 2 times a is going to give us a into bracket x minus 2 plus, and you know, now your LCM again, x minus 2 becomes x minus 2, and the remaining is going to be x plus 1, which is b times x plus 1. So, what is now the next thing we do? We are going to equate it with this, 4x minus 5. And we, what do we want to get? We want to get this a and b. Now, if I want to get a, I want to get a, I will say, when you can start from either of the two brackets. Okay, let me start from here. When x minus 2 equals 0, that means our x equals 2. Just equate them with 0. So, you are going to substitute for 2 in everything. So, if I substitute 2 here, that will be 4 times 2, that is 8. And x minus 5, that is 3. 3 equals 2. Now, it is very clear that if I substitute 2 here, that's 2 minus 2, that is 0. And everything here will turn to 0. But if I substitute that 2 here, that is 2 plus 1, that is 3. And 3 times b, that is 3b. That is equals to 3b. If I divide both sides by 3 over 3 over 3, definitely my b equals to 1. My b equals to 1. I know my b to be equals to 1. Now, how will I get the A? For me to get the A, I will just say, I will use the second one. When X plus 1 equals 0, definitely X equals to minus 1. When S is minus 1, so I'm going to substitute minus 1 in everything here. If I substitute my minus 1 here, 4 times minus 1, that is minus 4. And minus 4 minus 5, that is going to be minus 9. Minus 9 equals to... So if I substitute the minus 1 here, it is very clear that minus 1 plus 1 is 0 and this will come to 0. But if I substitute that minus 1 here, minus 1 minus 2, that's minus 3. And minus 3 times a equals to minus 3k. Then you, uh, over minus 3 over minus 3. So definitely my a is going to give me minus cancel minus as 3. You know, then by three, that is three. That means my a it is three. Now that I've known my a and b, so what is the next thing I'll do? I'll just I'll just say I will write it as a three my a is three all over x plus one. Plus my b is what one all over x minus two. That means integrations. 
I want to integrate the bolts now. I want to integrate the bolts. Now, let me not do it separately. Integral of 3 all over x plus 1 dx plus integral of 1 all over x minus 2 dx. So definitely, what will it give me? According to the law of integration, you can bring this 3 out. That is 3, and it's going to remain 1 all over x plus 1 dx plus, bring the 1 out, 1, or you may not even bring the 1 out. You may not even bring the 1 out. Plus 1 all over x minus 2 dx. And what are we going to have? Now, let me tell you something. In the law of integrations, anytime you are integrate and you discover that the differentiations of your de um, denominator is equal to denominator, what is that? Let's check. Let's check this de denominator. What is the differentiation of x in normal differential calculus? Differentiation of x is actually one. It's actually one, and differentiation of one is zero. So that means the differentiation of this denominator is no, is numerator. So anytime you have something like that, what you do is just this three, you just say lean all log exponential, whatever you want to do, and say three log exponential x plus one. Or you can say lean x plus one. Plus now check this one also. The differentiation of x minus two is actually one because the variation of x is one, the variation of minus is three is zero. So that means plus log exponential x minus 2 everything plus c arbitrary constant what do i mean because the differential of this is this anytime you have that you just log it the denominator the variation of this is this you just log this it, you can write either link or log anyone you, you put actually it goes it goes so that's it that's about that now let's take Now, if you check this, it's also integration by partial fractions. But if you check it according to the law of partial fractions, before you can say you are good to go in partial fractions, you must make sure that the denominator is greater than numerator. Denominator is greater than numerator. But in this case, you will discover that the denominator is lesser than this because mm -hmm. our denominator is having the, uh, the highest power of square, and why the numerator is having the highest power of cube. That shows that the numerator here is greater than the denominator. And before we can do anything here, we have to make sure, we have to do something so that the numerator is going to be lesser than the uh, denominator. And how do we do that? We are going to use division of polynomial. That will make us to do something like this. This is x squared minus x minus 2. And this is 2x cubed minus 2x squared minus 2x minus 7 now what's that you cannot say x squared divided by 2x cubed is going to remain what 2x as you all know that 2x times 2x squared to give us this actually so we are going to use this to multiply everything you see here that is 2x times 2x cubed that is our x squared sorry that is 2x cubed and 2x times x that is minus 2x squared minus 2x squared and 2x times minus 2 that is minus 4x so you subtract it when you subtract it so 2x cubed minus 2x cubed that, that one has gone and minus x minus that is plus and minus 2x squared plus 2 that is that has gone minus x minus that is plus that is minus 2x plus 4x that is 2x Minus seven. Now, what can we do here? You know, these two s cannot divide x squared. Definitely, that this is where we're going to stop. That shows that the um, these are quotient. These are divisor, and these are remainder. Now, that shows that we cannot rewrite this thing. We can rewrite this thing in the form of q plus r all over d. Q plus r all over d. Uh, and this Q represents my quotient, which is 2x plus 
My remainder, my remainder is 2x minus 7. All over divisor. My divisor is x squared minus x minus 2. So after you done this, you can now work on it normally. Can now work on it normally. Now, let me start working on this 2x. You can just leave this one for, for now. Minus 7 all over x squared minus x minus 2. Now, can we factorize this? Can we factorize this so that now? In our quadratic equation, x squared minus x minus 2. This is 2x squared. What are the two numbers? When you multiply it, it will give you this. When you add it, it will give you this. So that will be minus, minus 2x, 2x plus x. Yes, thank you so much. Minus 2x plus x. So I multiply these two together. This is minus 2x squared. That's minus 2x squared, and this is not minus. Okay, sorry. Yes, minus is here. Because minus 2 times x, that is minus 2x squared. So this is actually the two factors. That means we have x squared minus 2x plus x minus 2. So if you factorize this, we are having x into bracket x minus 2 plus 1 into bracket x minus 2. So that means x plus 1 and x minus 2. These are the two factors. x plus 1 and uh, x minus 2. So definitely, we're going to write it out equals to a all over x plus 1 plus b all over x minus 2. So we'll follow our way of doing it. 2x minus 7 equals to, you understand the first examples, a into x minus 2 plus b into bracket x plus 1. We are trying to get a and b. We're trying to get a and b. So when x is, when x minus 2 equals 0, that means x equals to 2. And if x equals to 2, you substitute your 2 here. 2 times 2, that is 4. And 4 minus 7, that is minus 3. Minus 3 equals to and if you substitute 2 here, 2 minus 2 is 0. Everything here comes to 0. Substitute 2 here, 2 plus 1, 3. 3 times b, that is 3b. That's all over 3, all over 3. So our b equals to minus 1. Our b equals to minus 1. Now that you have used this, you are going to use this also. You say when x plus 1 equals 0, you know definitely x plus 1 equals 0, our s will be minus 1. If our s is minus 1, if you substitute your minus 1 here, 2 times minus 1, minus 2, and minus 2 minus 7, that is minus 9. Minus 9 equals 2. If you substitute that minus 1 here, so that will be uh, minus 1 minus 2 minus 3, and minus 3a. Because if you substitute that minus 1 here, everything here will come to 0. That over minus 3 over minus 3. Our a minus cancel minus our a equals to three. So I want my b to be minus one. My a equals to my three. My a equals to three. So the next thing to do now is that let's get our final answer. Okay, our final answer. Now according to what is here now. So that means we are having 2x from here, 2x, sorry, 2x, our a and our b, and as you know, like when I subjected it to division of polynomial, you know, I got this, I brought back this 2x, and now you have to arrange it, so we can now find their integral. So, dx. Dx. That means you can just say, you can separate it like integral of 2x dx plus integral of 
3 all over x plus 1, the x minus integral of 1 all over x minus 2, the x. So what will that all give us? I want this integration of 2x, that is 2x, 1 plus 1, all over 1 plus 1. Plus, this one can become 3, you know, 3 integral of 1 all over x plus 1, the x minus 1 all over x minus 2, the x. So definitely, yeah, this one is 2x raised to the power 2 all over, this comes with this, plus 3, you know, in differentiation of x plus 1 is 1. The differentiation of x is 1. So that will be, and according to that, we say the, now moving the, this one in, x plus 1 minus, and the differentiation of x minus 2 is 1, because differentiation of x is 1, and this is 0. So that means the relation of this is this. So does it mean x minus 2? So that means our final answer. Our final answer is going to be s squared plus 3 lean x plus 1 minus lean x minus 2. Plus C. Plus C. That's the answer. Now let's look at another example under this integration by partial fraction. Evaluate the integral of 5x squared plus x plus 12 all over x into brackets x squared plus 4 into brackets dx now, according to our integration actually our denominator is greater than the denominator because if you expand this it's leading to s cubed well, how do we arrange something like this? Now, in form of partial fraction, let me rewrite, let me bring this thing out. 5x squared plus x plus 12 all over x into bracket x squared plus 4 equals to, as you know that this is just ordinary x, it's a million. So I just say a all over x plus this is in form of quadratic that is going to give us dx plus c all over x squared plus 4 because you, know, it, you cannot factorize this you cannot factorize this anyway so what would that one give us that is we are writing this you know 5 x squared plus x plus 12 equals to so like i told us if you find the LCM, this is what you are going to have a into bracket x squared plus 4 plus x into bracket bx plus c. Now we can now expand it. That means 5x squared plus x plus 12 equals to, if I use this a to open the bracket there, a x squared plus 4a plus dx squared plus cx or cx. Now I can just take the x squared and try to equivalent it with the one that I'm having x squared here. That means the 5x squared will be equals to a x squared plus b x squared. So that will be used. 5x squared equals to x squared open bracket a plus b. I factorize the common one. That means the x squared comes to the x squared. My a plus b equals to 5. Now let me subject the coefficient of x to equivalent to the opposite side. Here. That means our x here equals to 
this guy is having um cx here having cx here so that means s cancel x c equals to one now for the constant our constant a is 12 12 equals to we are having just 4a that is that can be equivalent to the constant a that is 4a 4 divided by 4 our a equals to 3 now i've known my a to be 3 i've known my c to be equals 1 definitely i can know my b from this equation here so that my b will be since a is 3 times 3 plus b equals to 5 so that means b equals to 5 minus 3 and b equals to 2 actually so i'll know my b now also to be 2 now i can just substitute inside so i'm going to have something like this the a is 3 here b all over x plus what's b my b is 2 times 2x plus my c is actually 1 all over s squared plus 4 all over s squared plus 4 so we are trying to want to integrate it we to integrate dx so that means i'm having the integral of 3 all over x dx plus integral of 2x plus 1 all over x squared plus 4 dx dx so that means from here I'm just saying now in integrations when you have one over x that is actually lin x so normally this guy will give us three lin x actually plus integral of 2x plus 1 all over x squared plus 4 dx now you have known this already that integral of 1 all over x dx that is lin x lin x and i brought out the 3 that's why i have 3 lin x here now if we look at this naturally if i want to proceed on this x squared plus 4 i cannot actually factorize it so the best thing to do now is that you can apply this as far as integration by partial fractions is concerned, you can still say plus integral of you can say 2x all over x squared plus 4 plus integral of 1 all over x squared plus 4 dx dx. What did I do? I split the numerator of this and for this i will see that means three lin x plus now if you look at the denominator of this integral x squared plus four the differentiation of x squared plus four is actually this because the differentiation of x squared that is two x and four is zero so that definitely if the differentiation of this is this i will just say lin s squared plus 4 now coming to this side plus you will notice that differentiation of s squared plus 4 it is never one it is never one so this kind is leading us to another integration entirely which is integration by substitution that means supplementary substitutions now that means i'll do this separately again that means integral of 1 all over x squared plus 4 dx now according to the substitutions if you can remember we apply the 
right angle triangle. Let me call this one my theta. And you can you have to rewrite this. That means integral of one all over s squared plus two square dx. Now, by not wasting our time, we also can testify to that this will be our hypotenuse side. Like all this, I put in mean, either hypotenuse square equals to opposite square plus adjacent square. For me to have plus and both of them in square, definitely this is my hypotenuse side. And don't forget in um, integration by substitution, trigonometry substitutions, we work with sine, we work with tan. And we work with sec. And you must always know that your x must always be the numerator. These are the things that will help us. Now that I've known that, and I've known this is be my hypotenuse, s squared plus 2 squared. So definitely I know this side will be my x and this side will be my 2. For me to have this. Actually, when you apply your a squared equals to root squared plus a squared, elementary mathematics. So it will actually lead us to this. Without not wasting time. Now that I've known this, so that means it's talking about the opposite and the adjacent. So that means I'm using tan. So that means tan theta equals to opposite all over adjacent all over two. If I want to get the x, that means x equals to two tan theta. Two tan theta. I know the next thing when we are doing the integration by algebraic or substitutions, we find the s d theta. The s d theta. That means my dx d theta will be two. If uh, the the variation of tan theta is sec squared theta, two sec squared theta. I believe we know that. We know that. So that means it's giving us. Is giving us the x from here, the s equals to 2 sec square theta d theta. Because I'm actually looking for dx. I'm actually looking for dx. And my x alone, my x alone is 2 tan theta. 2 tan theta. According to this, these are the things I need. Now, I cannot substitute it here. That means integral of 1 all over, what's my x? My x is 2 tan theta. So I will put it in the bracket with all the square that I said. 2 tan theta square plus 4. And my dx, I've known my dx. My dx is 2 sec square theta theta. Let me just bring it here. You know, 1 times dx is t dx that I see. That is 2 sec squared theta d theta. Now that I've known this, I can manipulate all what I need now. So that means this we actually leave it to 2 sec squared theta d theta all over what is 2 raised to part? That is 4 4 times squared theta tan squared theta plus 4. This 4 that is it. So after that, what will I do? I'll just say 2 sec squared theta d theta all over. What is common here? 4. I factorize it like 4 open bracket tan squared theta plus 1. So I'll just say I'll split it again. Let me write it up here. I want to take this side anyway. So that means <coughs> integral of 2 sec squared theta d theta all over 4. And what is tan squared theta plus 1? Tan squared theta plus 1 is sec squared theta. Sec squared theta. You have not watched my videos on how I'm making these identities. You can watch it. All this tan squared theta plus 1, those things will be clear. So, definitely says quantita cancels as quantita. So we have 2 year 1, 2 year 2. That means 1 all over 2, 1 d theta. 1 d theta. So now that I've gotten this, 
So I'm going to have what is now integral of one? That is theta. That means one all over two theta plus c. And I can now know my theta. What will be my theta? From here now, I can get my theta from here. From tan theta equals to x all over 2. I'll divide both sides by theta. If I divide both sides by tan, I'm going to have theta equals to shift tan x over 2. I don't know my mathematics, you know. Tan over to of uh, x all over 2. So that is my theta. So I can now substitute it inside this. So that will give me 1, sorry, I'll give me 1 all over 2, my theta is, I'll just say, shift tan, tan inverse of x all over 2 plus c. So that's that. So let me just bring this to combine with the remaining answer. That is 1 all over 2. x over 2 or c. So that is it. This will be the last example under the integration by partial fractions that we started before. Now, you have to bring this thing out because this is a partial fraction. 4x minus 23 all over x minus 5 raised to power 2. So we call it repeated um, partial fractions. Repeated denominators. Why is it like this? That will be a all over x minus 5 plus b. That's, that's, that's how it should be because it is repeated fractions. Now, if it is 3 here, the 3 that will be 1, 2, and it belongs to 3. That's all the partial fractions. Now, the way we do it 4x minus 23 equals, you know, I find the OCM. I don't need to stress myself. X will be this. Because this can go in this and this can go in this. This in this, so it will remain one. That'll be A into bracket X minus 5. Plus this cancel this totally. So plus B. Actually, we don't need this. We don't need this. I just try to show you. Now, if you now have this, when X minus 5 equals 0, that means S equals to 5. So we substitute for 5, that is 4, 5, minus 23, equals to, so if I put 5 here, normally, so 5 minus 5 is 0, everything here will come to 0, I mean equals to B. What that is 20, minus 23, equals to B, that means B equals to minus 3, actually. Now, for us to get A, since we don't have any... Uh, factors again. Can you say when x equals to zero? When x equals zero. So if x equals zero, I'll put zero here. That's four times zero, zero, zero minus twenty three minus twenty three equals to if I put zero here. Zero minus five, that's minus five. Minus five can say it as minus five. A minus five A plus B. I'll be minus 23 equals to minus 5a, but I have no b, my b is minus 3. So if I put that's minus 3. So minus 23, if I bring this minus 3 here to this, day, that's plus 3. So minus 23 plus 3 equals to minus 5a. So that will give me minus 20. Minus 20 equals to minus 5a. So minus 5, minus 5. So that means our a is going to be 4. Now that I've gotten um, my um, b to be minus 3, um, as you can see, and our a is 4. So what next? What next? So what next to do now is that we now integrate it. Integrate it now. I'll just substitute my a here that is 4 all over x minus 5 
Now, this has turned to minus minus 3 all over x minus 5 <coughs> squared. I want to integrate it. The x. I want to integrate it the x. That will give me. Now, as simple as this one now, if I'm to integrate this, integral of 4 all over x minus 5 dx. So the 4 will come here. That means 4 ring x minus 5. 4 ring x minus 5. Now, if I should, if I want to integrate this, integral of 3 all over x minus 5 squared. So this one is leading us to integration by substitution. Integration by substitution. So that means if I want to integrate this, so I need to represent this x minus 5. Then I represent it by u. u equals to x minus 5. u dx. u dx, that is 1. And that means the u equals to dx. Now that I have known, because this is to dx, right? Right? Now, what is the next thing? I will say integral of. 3 all over, I've represented this one as u, u squared, multiply by, what's my dx? My dx is actually the u. So, if I want to integrate this according to 1 half, I can bring the 3 out, I'll 3 integral of 1 all over u squared, du. So, what is the integration of? That is 3. Let's say bring it up, you need to power minus 2 plus 1 all over minus 2 plus 1. So we are going to have, we will have 3 to bracket, you minus 2 plus 1, that is our minus 1 all over minus 1. So if this one comes up, so definitely we are going to have minus u. This that, that is actually um if I bring this minus here, that is minus three u is power minus one. Which is according to love in this is minus three all over u plus c and after all we will now substitute back the u we are going to substitute back the u all in minus three all over and what's our u all over to plus x minus five x minus 5 plus c so now let me join this with my answer but this one give us 4 min x minus 5 that will be minus you know there is a minus here already and this one came with minus so minus that is minus that is plus that is 3 all over x minus 5 everything plus arbitrary constant c so that is that about the integration by partial fractions. Please do so in sharing these videos and do so, so in <clears throat> subscribing to this channel. Please, that's how you can help this channel. Thank you for watching.